Whip his hands. No. I have video footage. No. I'll show you. No. <laughs> I was with him last night. Yeah. Whacked his bum cheeks across the whole wall. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I was gonna put this game straight away. I know this isn't my usual like setup and lighting and stuff, but we in the car today because yeah, I got a guest. Hi, this guys. is Layla, guys. Will you introduce yourself as well? Like, how you guys? Oh, Hi guys. Yours. Layla, um, on YouTube, I'm like, you know, maybe God, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you... I've changed my name, that's why. I hate, oh. I hate God, Jasmine. On my YouTube channel, so what do you know? Layla Yasmin. Oh, um, hi guys, I'm finally recording with Natalia. Yeah, today. we've done a little link up today. I just keep by the title today. We're doing like a um, reacting to uni confessions, but we didn't really come prepared. I only asked my story for like, but they gave you a lot though, they gave me a few, but I only asked them like an hour ago. So I don't know if there's going to be many, many juicy ones, but we're hoping that there will be, and I've got a few private DMs as well. Before I even get into this, I feel like you said you go uni, right? Yeah. I feel like we should share like any crazy stories that we have first before I even react to the others. Do you I feel stay like at uni? Yeah. I didn't. Oh, you live at it's, home. It's boring. Yeah, it's like not really much going oh, on. Oh no, but that's good because yeah. you're not gonna see the wildness for real. That's what I'm saying. Mine are not even crazy though. Like, let's not even get twisted. I feel like my life is very like boring. Not many things goes well, on. Did you go to here? You yeah, I go uni now. University yeah. of Birmingham. Oh, jump scare. The main one, the main one. Yeah. No, but that's better though, because I go to the Russell Group one. The that's other ones are the ones where you hear the stories and that. Oh. No offense. But I know about Birmingham and I know it's like cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, also, if you hear any cars driving by and that, you already know about outside. Yeah, like, outside. just leave me alone. Oh, no. I've, <laughs> I've just looked at what I wrote down. This is not even a uni one. This is just like. A life one, so it doesn't okay. even have to be uni. But plus, if you know me, you know I love to chat, so I'm ready for this. No, literally, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to even share this. I don't know if I'm allowed. Yes, you are. What do you mean? No, because the people. Do you know what? I'm gonna just do it in a very like a vague way. Okay. But basically, this is just something that came to my mind that happened like literally not even too long ago. Okay. But basically, in mobs, in it like obviously, like you meet some friends there. We made this some is friends. You. Yeah. Damn. This is not even like my followers. This yeah. is from the heart, from the memory. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm me and scared. my friends made... It's not even that... No, it is. <laughs> yeah, so we made some friends. And basically, on the last day of our trip, yeah, we had to check out of our Airbnb, our hotel. But we had nowhere to go with our luggages because our flight wasn't until 10pm. So the friends that we made, they were like, oh, like, you can come to our villa and, like, keep your stuff at mm. our villa. And then just chill. And then when you're ready to go to the airport, you can get changed your airport clothes and then get the cab to the airport. So we were like, okay, mm. cool, that's fine. They were guys, innit? So then we went there. And then, so, yeah, cool, it was time to, like, get changed. But then, obviously, me and my friend, like, we didn't want to just get changed like in the living room like type things so we were like oh do you have a room that we can go to whatever and he's like oh yeah you can use my ensuite bathroom upstairs there's like six people living here but he has his own room and his own mm -hmm. ensuite big shit so it's his room and his ensuite and we're just getting changed and i think it was my friend when she was just like oh let's just look in the like i think she just like out of curiosity like just being nosy she wanted to look in the toilet like <laughs> she lifted up the toilet lid do you know what was in there shit poop Ugh. brother Ugh. All across the toilet with the tissue in it, not a flush. And obviously, I don't know these people like that, so I don't need to be seeing your poo. Like, yeah. why am I just seeing your poo? Me and my friend were literally creasing. And what made it worse was that obviously one of my friends was talk was talking to him in it. So like, that's mm -hmm. like the biggest ick of your life. So. Oh. Only they were talking. Yeah. No, not, not, the, not the friend that I was with, but my other friend that was downstairs. Yeah. So only naturally I had to take a picture in it. Like, yeah. <laughs> only thing. naturally like, I took a picture. Man, is this what he's doing? You gotta run. Literally, if I was down bad, I would put the picture on the screen. But I'm not gonna do that in it because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be classy. Babe. You still have the picture. I have the picture in my Snapchat memories. What? Oh, <laughs> I asked to see, but that's just. I oh, like... I can show you. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably in my safe <laughs> I chat. I don't wanna see. Breath, it's literally a whole man's poo. Oh, there's a video. Ready? Okay. Let's <laughs> go. So what, he covered it though? With bare tissue as well. But you can still see. I can see. And I feel so bad, but I had to show the babe. No, but you know what? be like, okay. this is your man's. <laughs> what if he just couldn't flush the toilet? That's why he covered it. Then why let us go in there? Yeah, and not give a disclaimer, like a little, by the way. Yeah. Or he could have just let us be in his room and shut the door. Like he told oh. us to go in that ensuite bathroom. So obviously we felt bad. So I felt bad because obviously we now had to walk downstairs and pretend that like we didn't just see this man's whole poop in the bath and just talk to him like normal. But it was also like so funny at the same time. I think that's disgusting. It's yeah. like, I mean. <laughs> like if that was, imagine that was you. Yeah, I'm going to just end myself. Literally. Like, but anyways, and then that's, that's just one little story, but one uni related story, which is just not even that deep, but I just thought I had to mention it, is that I had this one if he's watching, he won't be. I had one dirty, stinking flatmate, yeah? And one of the dirty, stinking things that he would do that I caught him doing is that he would wash his dishes with his hands. Cough. Oh, sorry, <laughs> 
No. Whip his hands. No. I have video footage. No. I'll show you. No. <laughs> Look, you see, it's just his hands. So but why is he so precise as well? Like his hands got like Bro. scrubs on them. Like but so the, the first thing. time I saw it, it was a plate. So as in this is the plate, he's washing it like this. Bare hand, no, like just was there even soap? I don't know. Just bare hands on the plate, clean mm, in it. Nah, man. Second time in this video, it's a cup. He's got the cup, digging out the cup, cleaning Have it. Have you like said anything to him? No, we just and it's, we just stand there and look. And, and you guys don't share plates, right? No, no, God forbid. But means... I only took this video because of why people say I'm making it up. Like yeah. I'll tell my friend. I'm gonna have to tell him. You have to tell him that. That's not right. No, but maybe that's how he grew up. No, yeah, I, you... will, I will grow you up some more. Now. <laughs> like, no, but the thing is, what made it worse is he's a grown man. Like he was. How old was he? I can't remember how old he was, but he was a mature student. I mean, he was like 25 or something. So he's been going his life like this, washing his dirty dishes with his bare hand i'm not gonna lie that's disgusting crazy how are, you, how are you rubbing off like the gravy and the, the yeah pizza? and he was eating but yeah that's, Sorry, just a, that's making me feel sick if that's just a snippet of the disgusting so thing that happened from anyone's house like that Lit you need to know for real from literally people be doing stuff uni like opens your eyes when you live in halls accommodation it opens oh, your eyes to how dirty people i can people. just tell from tiktoks as well mm -hmm. that's disgusting now let's get into the real juicy stuff that you guys have sent me okay so i once had a great nap in an english class and ended up farting the whole class Class heard. What do you even? What do you even say? Like, sorry, I just tuned in. Like, <laughs> sorry. See, I, I don't. Mm, if that was me and that was you, that's how you sleep in. And you go, and you just wake up in that. Damn. Oh my days! I'm just gonna have to put that one in the book. <laughs> Yeah. Or do you know what I would do? I would probably do a thing where like I'll try and replicate the noise with like something else to try and make it seem no, like it was anyone, bad. everyone would see that though. No, but, everyone would, no I, but I have to I, try. I have if to you was my classmate and you've just fired and you've gone, well, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, babe, I know you just damn fired. Sorry, you have to firm it, man. I'll do it again. Yeah, guys. Yeah, I see. Straight out of there. And yeah. Finish <laughs> class. I'd be like, just school back. Yes, yes. Oh, do you know Spanish for real? Yeah, where are you from? Portuguese. Portuguese. So it's like Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying Portuguese. I love Portuguese. I love saying Jamaica. Like saying Jamaica. <laughs> Next one. I got SA, which I mean, and I'm sure means sexually oh, assaulted, yeah. by my ex friend's co worker. My ex friend's co worker. She basically begged me to give him a chance. She? So it was a guy that got SA. So say we, me and you are friends and yeah. you have a co worker. Your yeah. co worker essayed me. And, and you're trying to tell me, I'll just give him a chance. Oh my god. Like you're day. trying to defend him. No, no. I'm a shit friend. Yeah, maybe that's why it says ex friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm so sorry that happened to you, first of all. Yeah, and why Secondly, is the friend trying to give him a chance for what? If you see her next time, slap her in her face. <laughs> you can't be that considerate to think, oh, maybe he did an essay. Maybe, yeah, no. Maybe he just really likes, like, no, no, bro. We don't play that that's around not here. I'm confused because she's done multiple, so I'm trying to see if it's the same story. No, it's the same story. So then after that, yeah, so she said to him, she said, to give him a chance the yeah. Other, yeah the friend so after a flat party she invited him and his friend which was a guy that she was so oh so, the, so, so she's, she's got her own his friend. friend huh oh wait what oh she's she brought the guy that she's effing yeah and yeah. then his friend which is the co-worker that essayed the other girl okay. to try basically try to do some kind of two-man i'm guessing like her, her to her and her friend the co-worker and the co-worker's friend they came over to mine i was so intoxicated on many substances and she decided and she said dot 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 and she's gonna continue the story in my DMs. <laughs> what is going on? Uh? How am I supposed to find her bloody DM? Yeah, I can't find the rest of the DM, but from what I'm gathering, is this obviously you're still being forced to be around this man that's literally assaulted you and your friend is just condoning behaviour so that she can get her own little like two man going on. And because she's she that's her friend she probably feels responsible but she's not trying to own up to that responsibility yeah. so therefore now she's twisting it like it's some romantic story yeah. it's not i don't think you guys can hear the rain but, but it's yeah rain, right? uh, block everyone that's linked to them too block 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 instagram block 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 okay i'm gonna read this out but i might have to like chop it up a bit so it's not too long i went to uni in nigeria and i had a mentally challenged roommate forced on me what does mentally challenged mean? They're probably just not stable in their head. Damn. So mentally challenged roommate forced on me. So he's now assault. And my friends, <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? No, because <laughs> I think she means like she had to be with this roommate. Not that he like... Oh! <laughs> I read that so wrong. Yeah, I think she's saying like she's had to be with this person like forced oh. on me and her friends for a full semester. Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get ahead of myself. He didn't assault her. Okay, cool. We went to class one day and I got back to meet. <laughs> I got back to 
be poop stain all over the wall. We complained to the hall administrator and this man said we need to find a way to manage the situation as opposed to them taking him out of the room. Okay, before we even read on, let's just address what we've just read. So he's 21 and he's pooping on the, <laughs> on the walls. Okay, so he's actually mentally challenged. So he's wiped poop on the walls. Do you know this is I'm actually hearing. impossible? This is impossible that this could be my life. No freaking way. What I do you come mean? You come home and there's poo on the walls. So he doesn't neighbor. like me. He doesn't like me. He, he doesn't hates fuck your guts. He, <laughs> he hates your guts. And he doesn't fuck with himself because this is our room. Yeah. This you pooped on your room. own walls. Yeah. And then you're telling me that I'm going to complain about it and they're telling me that he's they're not gonna move him out of the yeah, room. No, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not staying in that room. I'm scared for my life. You're gonna do something when I'm sleeping. Realistically, if a poo to be on the walls, not to even get meaty and gritty, but he's either whacked his bum cheeks across the whole wall or he's literally picked out of his hands. Like I don't, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Let's continue. Now, now she's just listing all the things that he would do to her. So I think this is basically just like nightmare roommate at this point. He used to steal from us and harass our friends for money. He didn't shower until we told him to. He doesn't need to be in a uni or community. So he needs a help. mental institution. Help. He went weeks without showering. Weeks. He didn't change his sheets or his clothes until someone fuss, made a fuss about it. No, I'm so sorry. I can't. No, I'm getting no. picked up by it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't know she had to live through like, this. What's her, what's her question? Is my point because it's so easy already. Yeah, so like I would do leave. Like, yeah, literally. I don't even need to know the dialogue. I think she's just saying that this is what she had to do yeah, with. Yeah. I mean, we just have to feel her struggles at this point. So, anyways, oh, and the last one I can remember now, which is also the craziest, is he. Oh. He used to masturbate in front of people. <laughs> so that means he can kill me. <laughs> if he really wanted yeah, to, he, has no fear. he could sleep for it. He has no fear in life. The like, man has no fear in life. In front of uh, yeah. No, because you know yeah. what? Yeah, I'm a visual I'm a visual I'm learner. A visual to deep so. things I have to picture it. Like when yeah. you actually guys, when you actually deep it, yeah. a man's masturbating like, in front of people. He's in his most vulnerable state. Like he's literally in he can front even be of looking you. at you while he's doing it. Oh, that's so oh my god. That means and with his dirty peen that hasn't been washed in weeks. Yeah, I'm no, 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 I'm not no, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. Genuinely, like you said, forget the degree. It's okay. I will leave. Like it's if okay. I can't have a different roommate and I I'm gonna have to travel to the uni if because if I really want a degree I'm gonna have to travel. Yeah. You know what I mean, or if I can't even travel because it's so far away, I'm not having that degree, I'm moving. Disgusting. I complained a whole lot and the whole administrator would always say dumb things like, What if he is your brother? He could be the one to help you someday. I don't know how any of this made sense. One day I got back to my room by 2 a.m. and I went to bed. I woke up to see this boy taken off his shorts in front of my bed and I took it up with him and he started begging me not to pull. Do you know genuinely, punch straight right in the face. Because at this point, I have to defend myself. Because if no one else is doing anything about it, I'm gonna have to beat him up. I'm I gonna have to beat him up. He's a grown man now, he's like bald here. Yeah, a slap point hurt. Up. A slap. A slap needs to hurt. It needs to hurt. It needs to hurt, but, hurt like. It might not make a difference, it might not knock the man out, but, but he needs to feel you, it. Because he has no fear in life. Mm. He will kill you. Then I'll poison him, poison his tea. And this boy went into a rape. What? A he rape? went into a rage and threatened to kill me. You were right. I see. I bro. <laughs> You have better sense than me because yeah. me, I would react and I wouldn't think. Yeah, nah. But this man is capable of murder. Kill, yeah. From the time your poo is on the walls you're already and you haven't showered in weeks and you're masturbating in front of people. You're a murderer. You're literally capable of murder. Imperatively, you just want me to die. Yeah. The next morning, I had my parents call the student welfare and it was taken up. So all of that had to happen before they listened. Yeah, because well, now it probably would have been like when we died, when I died. Yeah, when I died, that's when, when you were here. What is going on, guys? Nigeria's, um, what is this? up their game, mate. Their boarding school type thing, you need to sort it out. And he must have mental illness. Like, I we're not gonna act like this guy's normal. He yeah, clearly. He clearly. <laughs> Imagine living with that, like, with what you've You witnessed. know what I would actually do? Can I actually be honest with you? What? From, from the get go, when I found out, like, when I find out that he's crazy, I'm gonna make up stories to make him scared. Mm. So, I'll, like, we'll try to bond, yeah? We'll have, like, a little bonding session. Mm. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, so my brother, he, he's in jail right now. He's coming out, like, next week because. Oh, last, to scare him. 10 years ago, he, like, killed five guys mm. and then I'm gonna be like my brother's always asking me about if anyone's bothering me like he doesn't mm. even care about slapping a girl like <laughs> you know you're smart you know yeah, yeah I'm gonna no, be because... like I'd like I'm gonna be so real. And I promise you, he would leave you home after that. Yeah. He would, he would leave me you alone. Actually... Well, if he knows he can't help you, he'll move next victim. Mm. I'm not, what is it's it not gonna be me. Mark? It's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be <laughs> These type of things you see in movies, but it's actually people's real lives. Bro. It's a scary world out here, man. It's scary. Someone asked me if my mum coloured me with a black crayon before giving birth to me. Or if my mum ate. <laughs> or if my mum ate mud 
Who <laughs> she gave birth to me? Is your mum white? Because what I'm black. It's, like, it's the mum white. I'm confused. <laughs> what kind of dumb, stupid a question? Diss. Is that meant to be a diss? I think so, but that's actually hilarious. If my mum ate mud and that's that the reason that racist. I'm black. That's racism, but a creative one. I feel like I'll have to laugh. It's also that to me. I'm so sorry. Me and you will be laughing together. I know you're trying to diss me, but that's hilarious. Your I'm mom just... ate mud. They coloured me with a black I don't crayon. think I'm laughing, you know. Really? You're taking a Because then it's like, that means you want to hurt me. And I'm going to look at you and say, are you human? Like, no, you, no, where's, but... where's the colour in you? No, but it's creative, though. Jo Wait, it depends, see. though. Like, if it was a joke, like, yeah, hee hee. I can't even see what race the girl is for them to be questioning why the mum I've was I've had a joke birth where it's like, my... My best friend or like my childhood best friend like they're white a dad will be like um this person I took them out the oven too early no. My friend just right you no. too late like I, yeah, that's funny like ha yeah. ha But if it's a thing where I don't fuck with you and you don't fuck with me and you're telling me did your mum eat mud? <laughs> did, did your mum eat mud? Mate, I'm giving you one fucks in your face no, Sorry, man. that is the funniest thing I've heard man. They get so creative with these dishes, you know, you right? have to laugh a little bit Just a little bit Just a little bit Okay Oh, I think this person's from Birmingham the Areas are ringing a bell because I know about the Birmingham areas, you know what I mean? So I was walking home with my brother and his friend and out of nowhere a bunch of Nitties came through Selly Oak Park with their <laughs> so you dogs. Said that word, like, I know that. Yeah, like, I know. Park. They came out with their dogs, about six or seven XL bullies, unleashed. They were chasing us down the roads and I was screaming so loud, people thought I was a mad woman. I had to run into TK Maxx in the Selly Oak shopping center and hide in the changing rooms. A few days later, I found that the Nitties thought I was someone else, probably someone they were planning to jump, and that's why they sent their dogs. That's what they'd be doing for real. Oh, that sounds creative. They're, oh, sending, they're creative. actually sending their dogs to people. That's crazy. So the nitties thought that that was an op basically and let their dogs out on them and that's why the dogs were chasing them Do you have a fear of dogs? No. Yeah, no. I have a fear of dogs. Ex-bullies, yeah, though. Because it's like what do they, the history. Think, what do they look like? They're, hench they're basically humans, but in, like, <laughs> they're gym bros, but in dog form. I'm already scared of dogs as it is, but there's no way a dog is actually chasing me. Like That's actually never happened to me before. Look at them. Absolute. What? Yeah. <laughs> This dog, bro. I'm not gonna lie, and you know they're killer dogs. They're trained. They're like they're meant to be hunters. Depends depending on how the dog's trained, obviously. Like, do you know what I mean? But there's no way people have this as a pet and be like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Like, no, you're getting this pet to kill people. You're using this pet as a weapon because ain't no way. You know, there's so many other cute puppies. Let me show you my dream puppy. <laughs> Cute, like, oh, oh, that's that's such a like such a oh one day, a miniature dachshund or oh. dachshund, whatever. More like a you dog, yes, yeah, cute. Oh, so so freaking cute, literally. They like sausage dogs, they yeah. are. Yeah, so I think it only grows to like this big. Oh, that's so cute. Meanwhile, so people cute. have whole XL bullies. Yeah, no. You know, in the moment while I'm running from the dog, I'll be crying for I'll my be life. Shitting like, myself. <laughs> Quite literally, like, literally. Miss, my man from the Nigeria. I never give up. I'll be like, you just take me. You just take me. I can't. I can't. And do you know what's worse yet? I already have, like, social anxiety and I'm embarrassed of people watching me. So now I'm running down the street. Everyone's going to be looking at me. I'm running into TK Maxx. So I feel like after it, the situation has died down, I would literally want to sink into the floor and die of embarrassment because everyone has just seen me. Yeah, no. Scream down the road like a lunatic because dogs were chasing me. But rightfully so. <sighs> Like, I would just get so mad. Now I'm an op. You've got yeah. a new op because you've just done that to me. What if they caught me? Dead. And I wasn't even the right person. It's biting, you know. It's not even like quick, straight death. You're getting chewed on. <laughs> Mm -mm. This is why you have to pray that you're not in the wrong place at the wrong time because what the heck? That's why you don't leave your house. <laughs> That's why you just stay at home. You just, don't just leave your house. Just stay at home. Crazy I would have shitty pants, pissy knickers, <laughs> sweaty armpits. Literally. Honestly, I might even just bark back at this point. Bark back I'll at them. Bark back at the dogs. Survival instincts. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, babe. Okay. The last one, guys. Yeah, so this is I'm the last scared. one. And I got this one from Reddit because I read it and I was like... <laughs> read it and you read it. And I read it. Oh! Anyways, I just skim read this and I was like, no, I need to stop and read this for the camera. Mm. Okay, this one. In the halls in first year, there was a guy that was not very nice and really pissed off the rest of the dorm. Over Easter break, when it was just me and one other dude... So many dorm stories. That's why I didn't because go to this is, this is where the nastiness happens. Over Easter break, when it was just me and one other dude in the house, we froze a baking tray of piss so they pissed in a baking tray and froze it this let us push a perfect rectangle of piss right under his door this is not real <laughs> Well, I don't believe this at all. I'm just gonna act like I believe it now. I don't believe nothing like this is being said. Well, I want to hope that it's not real. We pushed a perfect rectangle of piss right under his door so it would melt right in the middle of his dorm room. When he came back, for, oh, so this is why he's on Easter break. They've put ice through okay. the door. 
and let it melt. When he came back from Easter, his room is so smart. Yeah, no, no, because so I wouldn't even think of that. I'll be thinking, how am I going to get this liquid inside the room? They so froze it in a baking tray. And she slid it under the door. And slid it <laughs> as a cube rectangle of piss. Sorry, that's so smart. It's messed up mentally. I know he was. I know he was very not nice to you guys, but for, yeah. you, for you to think of that, you Use must also have. Up. Yeah, literally, I'm genuinely. Lie. That's in boarding school. Yeah, when we would have that like, room wars and stuff like. I, if I knew that was a thing, actually, because we have carpets and I'd be walking into their rooms. So no, but it's really gross because also they have to pee inside the bacon yeah, tray. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's fucked up. So anyways, when he came back from Easter, his room stunk and he called the estate guys on us. We just said his room was locked all break. He probably just came back drunk and wet himself. So they they blamed it on him. They said that, how would we have done it when we couldn't even get into exactly, your room? Like, so you must like, have been drunk. Mad. Like, yeah, nice. you're actually crazy yeah. if you think we did that, the hell? Yeah. As soon as they said that, they came to their room and I was like, yeah. Yeah. And then, the estate agents fully agreed with us and fined him for clean up and wasting their time. This is wicked. I mean, he said he really was a prick. He bullied the girl in the next room. So I actually feel quite good yeah, about this. Yeah, you know what? I'm proud of you. Just I'm proud of you. And it was creative. It, right. You had your story backed up. Right. It was a masterpiece. Like, right. you ate down bad. You for ate real. that one, seriously, because the whole ice tray thing. Who would have thought? Wow. <laughs> but can I just say something? You didn't need to really freeze it because if it's kind of, like, gappy enough for you to mm. even put an ice cube under there, mm. that means you can literally just, like, guess a water bottle and squeeze it. Mm. Mm, like a squirty one unless they threw it so far down because like how can we really get down there okay yeah. then that makes sense yeah because so yeah. like, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. it's at the edge of the door it's like only one could have gone yeah but if it's deep in the room like, how could it be us bed. yeah how, how could, could it be us how could it be us could it be us no that's so small yeah, that's i like you want to take a page from there but <laughs> No, but I don't have enemies like that to be Guys, honest, if people. you watch this video, just know it was her. No, no but you know what's crazy? Me and my friend, yeah, we were actually such trolls as flatmates. So and we had some one guy, and we would troll him so bad. Like, in the middle of the night, yeah, he'll be in his room. And so we had, like, <laughs> this is so bad. I don't know why we did this, and I have videos of it as well. So we had, like, expired fruit in the fridge or something. We would just take it out and just leave it at his doorstep. So that when he comes, like, just for vibes. Like, we didn't even have no, like, beef with this guy. Like, just, for, just, just to annoy him. So you can pick it up, basically. Yeah, so when he wakes up, like oh and we would leave like onion pills there like just any random nonsense that's just supposed to go in the bin we would just leave it outside the yeah, door and then for, he would just, just for the plot just yeah for just for the plot just because we're it trolls isn't it it, yeah, get, I mean, it gets boring you have to entertain and trust me when yeah. I say we were creasing we'll be cracking up like this is our entertainment and I'm so sorry you had to no, be I love that I love no, that you have to make entertainment what you can because uni's boring man but anyways guys I think that was funny to that react to obviously if I posted it earlier maybe we got a bit more juicy ones but I feel like those were that was good interesting. and like, I'm not gonna lie like it was good but it was disgusting Disgusting. Um, Poo on the walls, oh, pee in ice cream. Girl, you keep saying that. It's making me feel sick. God damn. No, I'm not going to lie. This is why you got to be very careful with who you like live with. Because mm. when you're actually grown, you got sometimes when people move out, they want to find their roommates. you got to mm. analyze I never Roommate. Mm -mm, not me. I'm living by myself. Yeah, I'm living by myself. Like, pray over who you're going to be living with. Because yeah. if you're living with strangers, you actually don't know what they're capable of. Like, there's stories for a reason. Like, yeah. crazy stuff happens at uni. Or because... just don't live with anyone and be like me and stay. Oh, home. yeah. Oh, oh, unlike me, I live in a studio. So, literally. <laughs> stay out of the drama stay and watch the from the sidelines. Because, so... honestly. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really it was did. so fun having you I'm, on the I channel. I feel sick, though. But, yeah, oh, yeah, because I made you feel me. sick. I'm so sorry. But, yeah, where can they find you on social? Guys, so I'm like sometimes on TikTok. Oh, only like, sometimes? Sometimes no, on Instagram. You don't actually just post every day. Yeah, like, I always see you before you post. No, that's, not, that's not you. Not you. Oh, sorry. My bad. Twins account is um, mm. The Real Layla. Instagram, Gold Jazz. YouTube, mm. Layla Yasmin. Or you can write Gold Jazz as well. Oh, okay. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank Bye. you all for having me. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs>